This box came all the way from the US. Let's have a look. Seiko Monster. What's wrong with the dial? Oops, what's that? Right, seem like um broken dial feet. Let's get started. I'm not a professional, I'm a hobbyist. Hi, this is Ed from Magic of Wheels. Another interesting one on the bench today. And this one flies to me from the US. This is well worn and it holds a lot of sentimental value. Even though the owner of the watch has to pay all the shipping costs. And trust me, it's not cheap. Still, he wanted me to service his watch, so um, I will do my best. And frankly speaking, it is my honor to do so. Because you know, who wants to pay their shipping costs for just a watch service? So I talk to myself, if you see the value of my work, I will let you experience it. Because to me, this is not just a watch service, it's an art. So here I am opening the back case and I'm using the tool that will never scratch the watch. And as always, before I actually open the back case, I will brush off the dust and debris to make sure nothing will fall into the movement. And obviously I can see some stain and some sort of debris. I am taking off the crown and the widening stem so I can take off the movement. Because this is friction fit, so I just pry off and it will come off easy. Lots of scratches. Uh, now you can see that. So um, there's something wrong with the dial feet. Let's have a look. I am aligning all the hands so I can remove them and that allows me to remove the dial that was missing and that one so that's the part of the dial feet So I think I will have to remove the crystal and later on I will replace it. So I will have to find a sweet spot um, to remove the basal first and then I will remove the crystal. The painting of the marker is off, so I think I will repaint it. Basal gasket, I will also replace this one. This is the click spring. I am using crystal press tool to remove the crystal. Crystal gasket. These also need change. Next, I'm going to remove the dead disc. So I need to remove the C clip. You see, there is an indentation there. So that makes it a lot easier to take it out from this angle. I think you can see that indentation there.
The cover plate is secured by four screws. I am releasing the spring tension so I can safely remove it and I can remove the date ring. To remove Canon pinion, I need this special tool. Here I am pushing off the broken dial feet. Now I am taking off the oscillating weight. The magic lever needs to be very careful. This is reverse thread and screw. And now I am removing the ratchet wheel and this is obviously quite dirty. Next, I am removing the automatic bridge. And here is a click. Next, I am removing the balance complete. Here is the fourth wheel and the third wheel. Now I am going to remove the pallet fork, secured by the pallet bridge. Here is the escape wheel and the mainspring barrel. I am removing the center wheel, secured by a cock. And lastly, I am removing all the parts from the keyless work. I am taking out the jewel for cleaning. This clip secure the reduction wheel together with the magic lever. Inside the main swing barrel, I am taking off the barrel arbor and the main spring. So here are all the parts. Before we go to the cleaning, let's see all the jewels. Uh, so you can see the trace of dry oil. Oh, look at that. Definitely it needs service. This is another cap jewel, same condition. For the first round of cleaning, um, I am using naphtha and I will hand clean all the parts using brush. This is a new barrel and I want to clean this before assembly. This is the new mainspring, also I want to clean this before the assembly. Picking the jewel holes, uh, this process cannot be skipped.
All the parts are now in the basket and ready for cleaning in the cleaning machine. For case and bracelet, I have removed some of the light scratches off. I will clean them in the ultrasonic cleaning machine. For the bezel, I will repaint the marking as well. I am using B dip to clean the hairspring. Also, the padded fork will be cleaned in the B dip as well. The cap jewel and escape wheel will be treated with epilame. And the tip of the exit jewel will also be treated with epilame. Here is another cap jewel also treated with epilame. For psycho movement, there are two more jewels that need to be taken out, clean it, and lubricate it. So you can see the old oil stain. I'll remove that and Give it a fresh new one. So um, I have done the hardest part, assembling this two jewel in place with the right amount of oil in the middle. You can see the circle of oil in the middle there and right there. Let's check the cleanliness after cleaning. So now you can see all the dew are crystal clear. Now I am lubricating the dew. The hard part is to keep the oil in the center. And thanks to the epilame, that can be done easily. So I hope you can see the oil in the middle there. I always change fresh new finger cuts before dealing with all clean parts. New finger cut and I am ready to go. This is the breaking grease. So I put all together five spots. Throughout the mainspring I'm using Mobius 8200. This mainspring wider helped me wind the mainspring and transfer it into the barrel. Now comes to the installation of the barrel arbor. Here is HP thirteen hundred. Let's start the assembly. Um, this is the center wheel. The escape wheel. Here is the main swing barrel. Here is the third wheel. Mobius 9010 on the bump of the 
second pinion. Next I will assemble the keyless work. So once done, I can put the Mobius Grease 9504. Most parts in Keyless Work need Mobius Grease 9504. Here is HP 1300 Testing the operation and I see no problem there Now I am installing the click Mobius Grease 9504 Next I will assemble the automatic mechanism and this is the magic lever attached with reduction wheel I'm using hand press tool to secure the C-clip So that's exactly what I wanted to see. HP 1300 for ratchet wheel driving wheel. Here is the Mobius Grease 9504. Now I am fitting the pallet fork. And it is secured by pallet bridge. Now very special lubricant, Mobius 9415. So this process repeat four times to make sure every tooth got lubrication. Now I can install the balance and this is the moment of truth. Little adjustment and we're good. Everything looks good so I can go to the dia side. Start with lubrication of our juice. I'm using hand press too for the cannon pinion. And this is the minute wheel. HP 1300 for the hour wheel. Next will be all the plastic parts. The calendar locking spring with the cover plate. Now I can install the date ring. So now I engage the spring. 
Next is the cover plate. I am installing the dead disc and secure with C clip. Placing the C clip, that cutout needs to be noticed and that is downward. Fitting the broken feet dial, I use this thing called dial dots. Basically, it's the double-sided adhesive. Now it's time for installation of hands. So great to see it's working. That's the magic of wheels. After polishing the case and the bracelet to my satisfaction, now I will repaint the marking on the bezel. So, how about that? This is the new crystal gasket. New crystal. After installation of new crystal, I will pressure test it. Pressure test at 4 bar. It passes the test. Now I can start assemble the case. This is the most beautiful irritating noise. Now it's time to marry the case. If you think this is nice, please subscribe, like, share, and that super thank button, please hit it. Some silicone grease on the crown gasket. So here is the Mobius Grease 9504. Now I can install the oscillating weight.
the back case gasket and I am ready to close the back case. And that's all me servicing this watch and I hope you all enjoy my video. See you next video when passion and hobby collide. I'm Ned from Magic of Reels. This is early in the morning, 9 o'clock. So I'm gonna shift this back to the US as well as these parts back into the seal. Protection. I need this foam ready to be shipped. Get saved to the US.